Hey, welcome back. So one last step. We still need to uh, generate a uh, client key. So this this happens on the uh, OpenVPN server. You just you generate keys for each client. So generate a client key for iPhone and also for laptop. And then once you generate the key, you basically just need to import uh, that import client key into client device. So in your iPhone, you know, this generates a special file. It's called a, a, like a .opvn file. You just open your iPhone, go into OpenVPN app and import that file and then you connect. And then it, uh, if everything works, uh, it should just connect. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna first, I'll show you the server we're working with. Um, so if I go to a new terminal, let me get the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. So if I go, I mean, your router is going to look different, but this is how I determine what the IP of my Raspberry Pi is. Uh, Cause I just plugged it in. I don't have a monitor hooked up, but you can see here it's popping up with that address. So I'm just going to say SSH uh, and the default Raspberry Pi user is Pi. So Pi at, and then 192.168.0.168. .0 .0 and the default password is raspberry. All right, so now we're in. Um, so that's good good enough for this step now. Uh, let's move on to the dynamic DNS setup. So that's good, obtain dynamic DNS. So like I said, I use this thing called uh, no IP. So if you just Google no IP, you can go here and create account for free. Um, so I would recommend just making an account here. Uh, and then I'm actually going to make, for the purpose of the, this video, I'm just going to make a new host name. So this will be, um, let me just call it Franchise923. See if uh, I can get that name. And this is all free, which is nice. Um, okay, so I, I have that has been created. Um, so I'm going to say manage it now. All right, so it says, uh, what's your IP address? And I'm just gonna update the host name. Uh, I just wanna make sure all this is working. So the thing is these expire every 30 days, but they send you an email and all you have to do is click on the email and it, it, it uh, renews it for another 30 days. Um, and I've had no problem with this. Um, you don't have to, you, like when you get the email, you don't have to log into your account. You just literally have to click the email. Um, so this has not been an issue for me. Um, so now we need to, so it's, it's running now, but we need to, um, basically download an app on our computer that will update the address because otherwise this, we'd have to manually update this, but we're going to do it a different way. So we need to go to, uh, dynamic update client for Mac. So I'm on a Mac, so that's what I'm going to download. I've never used this on a Mac, but let's just uh, figure out how this thing works. So where is it? Mac download. So again, it's the first time I'm trying this. Uh, you guys are learning just as, as much as I am here. So let me try this. Right, so what is it called? No IP, no IP. So now it's gonna ask us to sign into our account. Um, see, it, it says it continually checks for IP address changes. Uh, when it changes, it automatically updates the uh, no IP for your selected host name. All right, uh, all right, so now we gotta log in. Okay, so you can see here, I have two host names listed. I wanna choose the one I just made. Uh, you'll only have one here, most likely. And that might be all you have to do, actually. Refresh, see it says updating. We don't wanna hit that, no. So yeah, I think that's it. You see it's running. 
So, oh yeah, this is a countdown. The next time it's going to update will be in 4 minutes and 35 seconds. So I think we can just close that. And it, you see it's running up here. Um, yeah, and that's it. Now we have basically a, a dynamic DNS we can use. Um, so that's awesome. You know, like right now, nothing is going to happen if you were to go to this website because our, um, our router is not set up to do anything. So like what's happening is we're trying to go to this website uh, on HTTP and our router is not set up to handle that. So it's just not doing anything. But we could, if we had a web server running, uh, we could set this up to display some sort of web page. But that's not the point of this video. So let's move on. Actually, this video is like five minutes long. So let's cut it off. And in the next video, we're going to run that um, setup script. Now that we have our dynamic DNS, we'll run the setup script on our Raspberry Pi. All right, thanks.